I was just going to add about like scaffolding with the assignments. Um, so in my class, we do two group projects um, and the final one is worth more. It's worth about 25%. The first group project is worth 15%. So there's a bit of scaffolding there. But the, the thing I'm going to add this time is um, because they have to, usually they just do group presentations in the class. This time they have to present as a group online and Zoom, record it, upload it to Brightspace, which is potentially a new thing that they've never done before. So I'm going to have them do it just a no stakes, just for completion, a small demo where they do an activity um, and they have to present as a group online and then upload it just to get them that sort of practice and comfort level with that format. So that's one new thing I'm doing for this um, online class. And then I think just the other part um, is um, for for group projects, uh, if you want to reduce social loafing, it's best to have a, um, a group grade component and an individual component. Um, so they just don't have to rest on the laurels of their group members. Each individual still has to contribute something to the class. So I, I still build that into my class. It involves like Corbett, a, a reflection on each group member and their contributions. They'll reflect on their, I'm using, um, I'm borrowing Corbett's group promises um, and then uh, just sort of a, an assessment of that. So they, they, get a, they get assessed on how well they evaluated their group members, how reflective they were. Um, and then I had them submit a couple of other components like they, they'll submit an individual speaking outline for the, their part of the presentation um, and things like that. So that's all I have to say about that.